Hey, what's going on, everybody? And welcome to another RuneScape vlog. Today is December 11th, and I have got only a couple days left of membership, which is it's sad. It it's good and bad because uh, this game can really consume you. Not that I've been playing like some people. I mean, it's their it's like their only game they play. I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But I'm just saying it's like this is day and night their main game, and um, I, I could never do that. That was my problem. Like I could never focus on this game. I mean, this game is... I love this game, obviously. If I've been playing this game this long, I love it. If I can come back and then pay money for it again to continue playing, then then you know I like a game. Um, I'm just saying that I can't... I've never been one of the guys who can just sit there for hours and grind to get to 99 and something. Just sit there and do one of the hardest quests in a one sitting. Like, I, I just can't do that. Um, it sort of, like, it doesn't hold my attention at all, so it just becomes too monotonous at times. And, uh... I apologize that the background of me doing this right now isn't going to be the most interesting thing, but I figured I'm doing this right now, and uh, it's mm, mildly, you know, not interesting, so I figured I could make a, a little mini update. Hopefully this update won't have me <laughs> rambling on as long as I sometimes do in these. But um, right now I'm actually um, cooking up seaweed, which sounds great, yeah, to uh, to make, um, get soda ash, and uh, I've got some buckets of sand. Because I've just been, uh, I've been air orb running, which is just basically the best way. Because it's, it's like semi AFK to run air orbs. Do I still have this on? Whoops, meant to turn that off. Because I just ran out of uh, enough orbs. But um, I just been, uh, since I, I figured out, like you know, I craft my own cosmics, which I'm running a little low on right now because I haven't done any runs in a while. But um, the Wicked Hood's been really great for that. But um, I craft my own cosmics, so I figured, you know what? Like I, I, I was pretty sure I could make uh, unpowered orbs. So I'm like, how hard can it possibly be to make? And really, as long as you, uh, yeah, I mean, I could just buy molten glass, which it, I think is, no, it's more expensive than buying the orbs themselves. But this uh, gets me, I, I'm wearing like the uh, the cooking mitts. What are they? They are the Soze Chef mitts. And not that they get me a lot of XP for something that just get me one XP, but every couple of cooks I get, uh, every like 10 cooks I think I get. Uh, where is it? Yeah, every 10 cooks I get another another 1.0, so... <laughs> That's something I guess, but this this is just like uh, it makes it less monotonous for me just to keep running, buying air orbs, coming back, and uh, I, I always liked uh, the the just the, the, the classic way of uh, like I get my I buy rune essence because mining rune essence is annoying to me. I can only do it for like a couple runs, and I'm like, okay, this is boring. So I buy my own rune essence, um, then I craft the the runes, and then I buy seaweed, and I buy buckets of sand, I make soda ash, I combine them at a furnace to make molten glass and then I blow my own unpowered orbs and I, I don't know it kind of feels like you know I'm almost getting everything right from scratch kind of like you had to do it back in the old days where there was no GE I remember I remember those days I I don't think I'd be half where I am right now if I didn't have the the GE I was never very good at going to like world 2 and trying to trade but so I'm just doing that in the background cuz I just like the way of uh, like doing my own thing you know what I mean like making up my own stuff like it's I I I you know I craft the orbs I craft the runes and then I make the air orbs and I sell them it's it's kind of it's almost like pure profit except I'm buying you know a couple of materials to skip a few steps of having to actually go out and sit there and pick up seaweed which as far as I know is the only w good way to get seaweed there might be better ways I d I don't know everything this game is I mean especially over the years it's developed to be very vast and there's just so much depth to it which is really cool about it and sometimes that's also its own downfall because it gets a little too depthy for its own good yeah something like that That sounds right and I actually I really wish I could use this furnace I think I need to do something to use this furnace like this guy's like I can't let you use the furnace because I'm a douchebag uh, I'm just like this is completely off topic but from what I want to show how do I become exceptional sometimes the text in this game is so good like the other day I was doing a hero's quest which is something I want to talk about and like I went to go drink the uh the thing you need to put on the rod to make it oily to catch a lava eel, and he, your character's just like, you know, I'd rather not. <laughs> I don't know, something about that, just like the text in this game is pretty good sometimes. Earning Varrock armor, wait. Earning exceptional items. Earning Varrock armor would impress me? Well, I'm going to have to Google that. <laughs> Thank God for the internet. That's another thing, if I didn't have the internet and YouTube to search where people have all these guides and stuff, then this game would be very hard to play sometimes, but... uh Let's go to Falador because... Well, no, 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 no. That's just going to teleport me two steps over. Let's go to Falador because that's the... As far as I know, the best place near a furnace, near a bank, that are that close to each other other than right here. Uh, there's probably somewhere else someone's going to shout at me, but that's where I go. Plus, Falador in a member's world is not a place that a lot of people 
go. At least not when I've been here. It's usually been pretty uh pretty empty, which is sad because I always liked Valador. Um, but let's let's take a look at my stats real quick because that's half what I was going to show. I got up to uh, 62 prayer, and I plan on if I didn't already, I plan on oh, I did. I think I did if they're in my bank. I plan on buying uh enough bones to get to 63 and then probably get to 65 before my membership is over because I figured with the double XP on like what am I going to have another chance like that with the uh, festive aura so I'm like you know what that's that's a really good idea I should do that uh, my bank is more or less the same obviously a little less money because I spent uh, money on the bones and other than that I oh I organized my bank I was like I know there's something I want to show my bank I actually I've rearranged my bank a bit I uh, selected my tabs, I've changed them up a bit more to combine a few things. This has always been my, my armor section, armor, weapons, all that stuff. This is uh, food and herbalore, which uh, my herbalore is not very strong. Actually, in my herbalore, I'm pretty sure last time it was 25. I uh, I did a, uh, a daily challenge, which those things are awesome. Um, but I just I just bought some uh, like grimy herbs off the uh, Grand Exchange, cleaned them, turned them in. I went from, I got so much experience, I jumped from 25 to 35. That's insane. And like, I've never done much herbalore. I mean, I think it's a cool skill, but I've just never really sat down to learn all the ins and outs of it. Like, like magic, I know the ins and outs of magic, I know the ins and outs of rune crafting. But uh, like herbalore, things like herbalore and crafting and stuff, I don't know all the ins and outs of, so I just, I haven't got into them very much. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my tab right there. It's looking pretty good. Um, this is construction and wood working, like wood cutting and stuff, because I think they, they match up pretty well. It makes sense. Uh, I have a ton of planks. I need to... I'm not doing it right now, but next time I come back to a member, when whenever that'll be, who knows? It could be a couple months from now. It could be <laughs> years from now. But I need to do some more construction. Um, I, uh, I combined my mining and rune essence, which should have just been together with my runes anyways, but I just had my runes separate for some reason, all into the one tab, which makes a lot more sense, and it's it works out really nice here because actually depositing runes and popping back out more essence is actually getting annoying between the two tabs this right now somehow this became like a tab caught in limbo I'm not sure what I want to put here I kinda want to move this to like my non-member tab so I can just have all my non-member stuff together and not have to worry about pulling out something that's a member and being screwed over on my inventory but I'm still debating on this this might also become like just crafting or something this is sort of like quest items but also summoning in process it's I haven't started summoning and now I'm probably not I went through a whole membership without starting it it's also got like uh, keys manuals books um, recoverable items and uh, some like like interesting items like the dungeoneering ring the uh, ghost speak game things like that it's kind of like uh, sort of quest sort of summoning sort of miscellaneous things I wouldn't want in my everything tab like this is kind of just my where I toss stuff my everything tab some of these things could even be moved but I'm just like eh you know I'll just keep them there and then I've got uh, Crafting and enchanting, which is sort of the, one of the same. This is mostly becoming more crafting now that I'm doing, you know, molten glass with uh, air up stuff. I bought a bunch of these and I really shouldn't have because I just wanted to get crafting experience while I was, uh, I think I needed 50 for a quest to do learner diplomacy or to do learner diplomacy. I needed 50, I'm not sure. Because it's all sometimes a little vague. You think the game could be a little bit better at that by now, but maybe I'm just looking at the wrong place. And then I have like my holiday and rare and interesting items like the flowers, which I know aren't rare. Uh, the snowball, which will probably melt after December's over. Uh, green logs, stuff like that. You know, holiday items. My my rubber chicken. Love my rubber chicken. And yeah, that's just the way I organized. I think it's a little bit more organized now. I still want to go through and clean out a few other things. I have to have Slayer stuff. Maybe I should move that somewhere else. But uh, but we'll see. That's that's that. My stats. I got to. Uh, I don't think I showed this last time. I got to 77 rune crafting, so that's that's sweet. That's that's a milestone right there. I, I'm not going to hit another rune crafting milestone until like 94 to get double natures. So <laughs> essentially, that's never going to happen. I mean, I'm probably going to go to the rune span again and get some points to get uh, the larger pouch, get the uh, top of the wicked set, but uh, probably even rechange my color rose. Right? I still don't think that'll get me any higher than like 80, 85 at best. Though the rune span is really good for that. But I mean, even when I started this membership, which we're not done with yet, but my stats have gotten a lot more even. Like a lot of the stats that were kind of low. Like my goal was kind of get all my stats 50 and up. Like I think 50 and up would be good, except for kind of like uh, down here. I don't care about farming. I'm not starting hunter. I did want to start summoning, but not getting there. And I don't. I don't even know anything about divination. So, and uh, dungeoneering is fun, but uh, I I kind of feel like dungeoneering is a lot more fun when you're playing with people. I thought it was one of the cooler updates they did, but if you're not playing with people, it's not as much fun in my opinion. It's it's still fun, it's just, you know, 
But uh, yeah, other than that, like most of my skills got it pretty good. I still got to get agility up to, uh, I think 50. 50 would be a good spot to get it up to. And um, yeah, other than that, I mean like 77 rune crafting, the prayer, those are the two big ones. And that's that's pretty sweet. I'm I'm really happy with that. I am going to get to 65 prayer decided. I thought about 70, but that that would probably cost me a lot of money. And I, I don't really feel like putting money into that, so... That's uh, that's that's the updates for what I've what I've basically accomplished in the last couple of days, um, but yeah, this is this the membership is almost over. I've done I've done a lot in the time I had this membership. I really did. Um, I'm I'm both sad and glad for it to be over. Glad because I got other projects I want to work on, other things I want to do, and to to when when you when I've paid for a game like this, I I do want to keep playing it, even when I don't always really want to play it. You know what I mean? Like you feel like. Like, I put money into this, so I really want to keep playing it. And I do want to keep playing it, but i got to do other things that aren't even, you know, fun. Like, i got to work, got things to do, and then I have other projects, like my other videos and stuff. So, a whole bunch of stuff like that. But, um, yeah, this has basically been most of what I've been doing. I, I did a little bit of combat stuff, but I just I gave it real quick, because stuff like this you can kind of AFK a little bit, and that's that's kind of what I like doing more. I guess I guess at heart I'm more of a skiller than I am a combat person in this game, but is there someone in Falador? Oh my god, someone's in Falador. <laughs> it's this the first time I've seen this. But yeah, just crafting my own stuff like this is cool and everything. And then making my own air orbs, so it's I'm pretty sure it's taking more time, yes, but I'm getting crafting experience. And uh like I said, it breaks up the monotony. I can't just run air orbs for like three hours and do nothing else. I just can't. Like even if I I'm cooking seaweed, that's that's like even more interesting after I've been running an air orbs for like an hour. I need to need to do something else because I'm just I, I'm not a machine. Like I said, I can't can't sit there and do that. Where did this? Oh, I dumped them over here, and that's really annoying. But this actually works out fairly well. I'm pretty sure I'm making money buying seaweed instead of the soda ash because soda ash is really expensive. It wouldn't sell. It wouldn't buy when I was even uh, bumping up the uh, price by like five percent a couple times. But uh, uh, seaweed usually sells pretty quick. And then I, I get the buckets of sand, which aren't too bad. And um, and then I just sell the buckets back, which gets me a little bit more profit. And I sell the powered-up orbs, which get me a lot of profit. So I'm sure I'm making money, just a matter of how much more I'm making is, I guess, up to the the user. But yeah, at this point, I'm just I'm just starting to like ramble on a little bit. I've got a couple more videos I want to make in the next couple of days before this is over. A few more things I want to do. I did not go to Castle Wars, and I really want to get over there. So I might do that later today. We'll see. But uh, that's just the update I want to show on a couple of the skills I got up to 77 rune crafting. Not that I did the quest to get death runes or the quest that I need to do, which seems pretty long to do blood runes. But um, I'm going to do those at some point, and when I do, I'll be sure to make note of that. But uh, for now, I'm just going to be doing this for a little while. So uh, until I decide to do something else, um, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you later.